quantum mechanics is a weird branch of physics in which many of the phenomena does not make sense from a classical viewpoint but they are however true particles do behave in a strange way and a small scale one of these phenomena is quantum entanglement and what is quantum entanglement let's see if zero spin quantum system emits two photons and they should follow the law of conservation of angular momentum which means that if one particle is spinning in clockwise direction the other must be spinning in anti clockwise but there are some issues with it we do not know which one is spinning in which direction that is they are both in a superposition of both the direction which means that they are in a both the direction at the same time but however if we try to measure one of them and it turns out to be in a clockwise direction we know instantly that the other particle will be in an anti clockwise direction it doesn't matter how far apart these particles are it's like they are sending some secret messages to each other just like how youtube will if you will subscribe my channel but how does that make sense because according to theory of relativity no information can travel faster than the speed of light but somehow these particles are doing so they are violating the theory of relativity einstein completely disagreed with this and in 1935 physicist albert einstein boris podolsky and nathan rosen argued that the description of physical reality provided by quantum mechanics was incomplete einstein view was somewhat like this he thought of those entangled particles as a pair of gloves if you take a pair of gloves and hide it in different boxes not knowing which box contain which pair of gloves but if you open any one of the box and say you find a right hand glove you know that the other box contain a left hand glove according to einstein's view these particles are like gloves they are already in their respective states and there are some hidden variables in it which means that the picture of quantum mechanics is incomplete let's see why einstein thought so two of my friend akash and rajita have different sets of three coins which are covered but as soon as they try to uncover any one of them the other two disappears they have done the experiment many times and they have found that whenever they uncover the same leveled coin they get the same value that is either a head or a tail but rajita wants to know that will she ever be able to know the values of other two coins To resolve this paradox John Bell published his idea in 1964 Since Akash have read Bell's theorem or Bell's inequality he makes Rachita understand we can have some probabilistic value of what you are telling so they again did the experiment but this time they uncovered the different label coins and calculated the probability of getting the same value that is they calculated the probability of the same coin for 1 and 2 for 2 and 3 and for 1 and 3 and if they will add all the probability they should get the value greater than or equal to 1 and it also implies that if the value is greater than or equal to 1 then einstein was right but if the value come out to be smaller than 1 then it is show that einstein was wrong and when they did the experiment and calculated the value the value was smaller than 1 And the interesting thing is that at that time the entire physics community ignored him. It seems that the world simply wasn't ready. Perhaps because his equation seemed untestable. But that was about to change. In 1972, John Clauser borrowed some equipment from the lab he was working in and set up the first genuine and ultimate test of quantum mechanics. This is the picture of the first experiment built of the leftovers and stolen equipments and this experiment gave an absolute proof that albert einstein was wrong it truly defines common sense no wonder at the end of his life albert einstein wrote 
all this 50 years of conscious prodding have brought me no near to the question what light quanta are every tom dick and harry thinks he knows it but he is mistaken the experiment only confirms this whatever is happening do not try to understand it but it doesn't mean that we will stop looking hey thank you for watching the video i would like to thank akash and rashita for helping me out and i will also like to thank shubham for modifying the script a little bit you know he also have a youtube channel but he makes comedy video and really nice comedy video you should check his youtube channel too the link is in description and do follow them all on instagram too and thank you for watching again and do not forget to subscribe my channel